because it will I am back. eat up. Hey! So did you have the recording going the entire time? It's possible that I did. I hope so, because I had some good stuff in there for at least a little while, and then I kind of didn't want on. <laughs> well, I'll check. I'll yeah. look over it when I'm editing this. Sweet. We've got to for a bit. I've got good news and bad news concerning the ant situation. Bad news first. Uh, the bad news is that the ant died. Oh, after you went through all that effort? I know. Wow. The good news is I, I was able to capture the ant and uh, put it in a glass and, and liberate it outside. Your persistence is impressive. Oh. Most of my foes have the decency to die quickly. Yes, well. I arrived before you. Bided my time in the nebula. Otek spread his forces too thin. It will He's cost not good at this. Life. Yeah. And yours. This is just uh, nah. Have you noticed that my hat is bigger than yours because my head is bigger than yours? Uh, where are you going with this? Just pointing out. <laughs> not going anywhere <laughs> with it. <laughs> I, person. I can make both sides of your face match. Yes. It's all to be personal, shouldn't it? I'll see the light in your eyes extinguished. With my invisible Sky gun. about our prison. After I destroy your fleet, I'll find you. Dang it. This is Otek. Oh, We've hi, Otek. the enemy's comm frequency. Kilran's got us pinched between his fleet and the prison's autocannons. Wow, you really shouldn't have done that. <laughs> You're really <laughs> bad at this. Oh, seriously? As as we're between you and Kilran, You're protected. I can say fight and die well, Otek. <laughs> if you stay here, you'll die. Fall back. Kilran can't stop this rescue. Yeah, he can. A tactical retreat. Draw off enemy warships. Divide their forces. I'll keep the comm channel open. Good luck. How about you just leave? Because your like presence how... here is not helping. While he's leaving, he's like, Okay, while I abandon you, I'm gonna try to help on the way out. <laughs> it's like... Cut the crap out, <laughs> You're not just, good at this. Just go away. <laughs> All right, so... Uh, maybe maybe that'll make me feel a bit better about my performance. <laughs> so I liberated the ant outside. Um, unfortunately, it wandered down the wall and straight into a spider web. Oh! <laughs> and then as I was watching, the spider came down. <laughs> and I was like, oh, no. But I have to watch. I owe it to the ant. Yeah, you did the right thing. See, this is why I encourage you just to kill it, because out there in nature, it's, it's rough, clearly, man. He's going to have his blood sucked out while he's still alive. Clearly that ant was not fit to live. Yeah, I guess he wasn't the alpha. We can, um, you can actually see the space fight going on out there. If I weren't being shot at, I would take sudden interest in this. Um... While you were gone, I also shared a fun ant fact. Yeah. So you know how they do everything by scent? Yeah. Well, if one gets, like, uh, is missing from the hill for too long, he'll lose the scent of the hill. Yeah, then they'll kill so, him. So, yeah, they'll kill him. It's like with birds. Birds do that? Yeah. Wow, I expected more from them. That's why you should never pick up a baby bird. Because Dang. once your human scent is on the baby bird, its mom will kill it. Wow. Yeah, so be like, that's not my child. I'm still strong. Well, I gotta say, I think there's a lot we could learn from birds. <laughs> your baby's beautiful, mind if I hold him? Oh, yeah, sure. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, what have I done? <laughs> Where did my child go? I'm, I'm just holding it. Oh my god. <laughs> More animal than man. <laughs> He's more machine than man now. <laughs> nice work. Thank you. Oh, 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 Sith Tormentor. That's subtle. Is that a Tyrannitic back there? I hope so. What the heck? <laughs> Yep, unleashed Maelstrom Tarantitic. Well, that's good. I wanted to know whether or not it was on a leash. Well, I guess none of these are. Be, but uh, they're clearly disobeying Bylaw 54A of space. <laughs> yeah, guys, we really need to talk about uh, 
Hey, you're treating the Tarantitic. There are no Tarantitics allowed at this beach. Yeah. Now, I know a lot of people say they're terrible, but they are still miracles of nature. Yeah. They are. But they have to have so many spikes. I mean, they're like... America McGee's Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> America McGee? That's not his name. Is it? I'm not sure. The one who did that Alice game? Oh. It's something McGee. Lame? <laughs> Lame McGee? It could be. That could be the correct... That could be the correct name. Lame McGee. I've turned around so many times I've gotten lost. There we are. Come to me! I've gone the right way. Actually, I have no proof of that. I don't know, these hounds are pretty, uh, convincing. Hey, speaking of hounds... Have Sandor you ever watched, uh, Sorry, go ahead. From, uh, Sherlock? Yes. Good talk. <laughs> that is all. It's an excellent show. Yes. My fiancé also enjoys it. Yeah, we watched it together not that long ago. That would be my wife and myself, not my dear fiancé and me. What are you doing watching TV shows with my fiance? Yeah, well, it's the camera I have in your room. Oh, yeah. That Don't worry a about lot. it. I was wondering why there was a constant mechanical whirring noise <laughs> every time my fiance came over to visit. Uh, fun story about uh, the high school I went to. Did they have cameras in the washroom? Uh, well, there was a sign that on outside one of the stalls that said toilet camera is for research only. <laughs> I was a big fan of it. The janitors <laughs> never took it down. <laughs> it was there for the whole time I was there. That's pretty amazing. Yep. It wouldn't happen today. It would be an angry parent. Wow. I don't know. Maybe I'll go to the old stomping grounds and see if it's there. It's a good idea. Go to a high school bathroom. <laughs> I'm sure there will be <laughs> no negative consequences. I'm sure it won't won't be a problem at all. Yeah. They're like, oh, you used to go here? No problem. Yeah. Well, check Come out the on in. Check out the change room too. Yeah. You'll like what we've done. <laughs> These dogs aren't very tough. Well, they were. Oh, they're normals. They aren't like you and I. They're just muggle dogs. Yeah, I went there. Yeah, I'm <laughs> proud of you. A Harry Potter reference. <laughs> Did you ever watch the movies? Yeah, I saw them. Okay, what did you think of them? Uh, I think it was, to me, similar to the books in that they started off pretty bad. And, well, not bad, but uh, juvenile. Yeah. And it got to, you know, be a more interesting point. Oh, as the series progressed? Yeah. Yeah, I think the books are written so that the audience yeah, you grow up with the is books. around Harry's age. Yeah. yeah. You you age with the protagonists. Yeah. And I appreciate that. It just meant, you know, I was at the age when they started that when I was reading the first book, I was like, no, I'm not 11. Yeah, you can't, like, if you're in that sort of... You have to be old enough to enjoy children's books again. You Lord can't be in that sweet spot. Lord Cankerous? Well, I'd go Sith, too, with a name like that. These guys really don't get a chance. It's like, <laughs> so what are we going to name our son? Lord uh, Stacy! Uh, Diabolus, I think, is a good name <laughs> for him. You think he's going to turn Sith? No. Diabolus is a strong name, like George. I mean, maybe in the Star Wars universe, Diabolus is the same as George, so I can't say. Oh, I don't want to know. Don't answer in the comments section if you know. They're going to. Well, there were three Diabolises in the expanded you No. Uh, <laughs> even rogue imagining leggings. it. These Imperial rogue leggings. Wow. Maybe they'll be nice pants for you, or for Risha. They look okay. I'm not gonna lie. Why not? Why am I not gonna lie? Yeah. Good point! <laughs> I never thought about it like that. <laughs> oh, so 
another one of these sweet overseer droids. No, not that one. That one! Oh, I love explosive fuel, thanks so much. They're so much better than the other ones, though. They are. I, I guess the like carbon those... comes in handy sometimes, but... It can be okay, but I mean, for the most part... I would rather just kill you know. them. Yeah. It's like, well, they're frozen. Why couldn't they just have been an explosive? It would have been so much better. Shoot from the hip! Imagine how long this flashpoint would take if we weren't level 50. Oh my goodness. I can't even imagine. Well, this is technically the second of two, but... I guess that's that's a fair point. Here, I'm gonna aggro this other group. I was just gonna clean up these scrubs first, but you know, no big deal. That's not necessary. I'm gonna just drop this ordinance right on me. Sephiroth. <laughs> oh, did you see the big announcement trailer for Final Fantasy VII PC Edition? Yeah, again. Yeah. Uh, I am pumped about that for one reason. What's that? Um, I didn't hear, like, are they HD in the graphics and everything, or? And as far as I can tell, it's exactly the same as the 1998 PC release. That is disappointing. I was hoping they'd at least, like, uh, come up with, like, a higher resolution export of their existing pre-rendered backgrounds. You'd think so, but no. Like, that can't no. take that much long. I'm sure they still have the polygons. Or, like, you know, the Source 3D file. Yeah. I mean, the fans have done it. There's the remix of Final Fantasy VII available for PC that you can download. Yeah. Anyway, I, my main excitement with that is that uh, I hope they sort of reinvigorates the modding community, because I can't count on Square Enix for... Hey, wait! Did you... Did you look where I am? Yep. Did you look down? Oh yeah, I looked down while you okay. were talking. Alright. I let, I let the image speak for itself. Okay, just making sure. I'm just trying to find the last console so that we can, you know... The last console bender! So what did you think of the finale? I loved it. Well, we're spoiling everything under the sun. Yeah. So what was your read? Because the I've... Jedi prisoner. And uh, no, I won't ruin this one too. Because I was um, saying before that oh, I was respecting Nickelodeon for depicting a character struggling with suicide, and the people I was talking to were like, "What?" And I guess oh, that's... Korra at the end. Yeah. Like, is that that's what I read from that? But maybe I. I don't I, I, I don't think. She was contemplating suicide. That's not what I uh, got from it. I got that uh, she felt like crap. Yeah, but I mean, why would she be leaning out over a cliff? Uh, I think that's just crying. No, I think that's just sort of her stomping ground. Like I think she wanted to be alone. Is how I read that one. Because that that's... leaning out over the cliff. Was like, oh, she's but gonna... she sat down for a cry after that. Yeah, she, she was like, well, I guess I can live as a normal person, and then that's when Aang is like, hey, I can talk to you now. Yeah. No, yeah. not just that, because she's still had her air bending, but she just had to get used to a big change. Alright. That was my take on it. I don't think... I don't think Korra's the type to do it. Although those emotions do run hot and cold in her. Hmm. Yeah. No, I, I don't... I, that's not how I read that. Well, it's how I read it. <laughs> Either way, I thought it was really good. I know some people uh, have some criticisms um, criticisms of the series, like uh, since all the episodes were driving the plot, there were no, there wasn't a lot for character development. Mm, yeah. Which I agree with, but I don't think you uh, hold it against the series. No. When I there's mean, still I'm, another season. I'm sure at some point we'll see what anyone likes about Mako. <laughs> <laughs> Lord Vanithrast. Like, uh, if you guys haven't watched Legend of Korra, go do that. Yes. Um. Watch Avatar The Last Airbender first, though. Yeah. Uh, Mako is, um. Like, I don't know, there's some cool stuff, like, when they needed that money really badly. And, you know, so he goes and gets a job at the electricity plant. Like, I don't know, just. 
you get some insights into his character that way. He's got some moments. Yeah. Oh, is that like a fancy shotgun? No, it's a blaster. Yeah. I thought that was going to be a customizable shotgun and you'd be set for life. Oh, well, I don't actually uh, use Kira. it, but uh, Risha would Risha, that. that's the one. Yeah. 